Welcome, everyone. Our host this evening is Daniel D.W. Whited. Take it away, D.W. Man, that sounds absolutely awesome. We appreciate everybody being on the call tonight, and uh, this is Daniel Whited, D.W. from Denver, Colorado. And we've got Dr. Kurt Fizik in the house as well, and, and maybe uh, we'll hear from a couple of guests tonight uh, also on the call. But we have been into a massive topic, the, uh, and we're into week three of it. And when we're talking about worldwide 220,000 deaths a year because of pesticides and things that uh, are, are getting on people and killing them, and that's the ones they know about, and, and then there's so many more people are hospitalized and, um, you know, it's, it's a major problem. It's huge. And what we're trying to do within our system is, is put everybody in a position where they can be aware of what's going on, be prepared about how to handle things that are happening, and then introduce you to, 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 to the right kind of products and systems to get toxins out of your system. Dr. Kurt Fisnick, Welcome. This is where the uh, world is your waiting room, and you get a chance to share with everybody some of the insights that you have, and welcome to the call tonight. Hey, D.W., thanks for having me, and uh, I have to apologize to everybody. I, uh, I had a, a really, really exciting uh, a guest speaker coming on, but he had to cancel at the last minute, um, and so, so it's just me. It's just me, D.W., and you. Well, I tell you, just you and I can cause a lot of positive, positive things to happen, brother. I mean, you know what? Because we care. We just simply care, and we just want people to understand and to come to the knowledge of and, and wisdom of, you know, what they're doing, and you know, it's not working. You know, I mean, seriously, there was a day there wasn't this many pesticides in the ground, and, and, and Roundup was not even part of what we did. And yeah. so... You know, they added those things thinking they were helping stuff, or maybe not. Don't know what their motive was. Not going to get into all that tonight because there's all kinds of theories out there that, that you and I enjoy and we subscribe to. But, however, with that said, you know, it is a massive problem. Would you not agree, Doc? Oh, it, it's a huge problem. It's a huge problem. I mean, if we go back just 20 years to 1996, right, <clears throat> Roundup and, 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 and glyphosate, was uh, was only used on agriculture. Only 3.8 percent of the glyphosate was actually used in agriculture, and 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 that's because it did such a good job of killing everything. I mean, it would kill all the plants. And uh, but in 1996, uh, we introduced uh, plants that didn't die when they were exposed to uh, uh, to the chemical. And since that time. Now almost 70% of the, of the chemicals spread on agricultural fields. And, and how many deaths did you say per year? Worldwide, there's 220,000 plus deaths because of what's going on with pesticides. Wow. I mean, that's huge. And, and uh, you know, that's, uh, that's the ones that they admit to, right? Like when I was doing my reading earlier today, um, they say that a lot of the a lot of the, the injuries we can't even go back and blame it on the pesticide. <clears throat> how do you how do you say that ODW has a bad knee because of because of pesticides because it blocked the absorption of, of manganese and you you need manganese for some of the enzymatic um, activity to have a healthy knee and and to have a healthy back and <clears throat> and. And so now, because, you know, because someone has a bad knee, now they start taking painkillers, they start taking prescription painkillers, and, and that kills them. Well, wouldn't you still say that it was, it was the, the chemical that triggered the reaction that caused the knee damage that made them take the painkiller that took their life? I mean, DW, seriously, isn't, isn't that the problem? That's totally the problem. I mean, and, and we get into the knee, but where these pesticides can settle, and it could be the knee. It could be the liver. It could be the pancreas. It could be, you know, the kidneys. The, the, uh, the poisons can settle even, even, even uh, get into parts of the brain. And so, you know, people go, well, where's this coming from? And doctors, they honestly, if they do know, they're not being honest about it. And, um, 
as much as I love our buddies out there, sometimes they don't know, and sometimes the ones that do don't want to don't want to uh, jeopardize any kind of a liability. So they're they're not going to give you all the details. But you and I have done enough research. We've helped enough people, and I'm telling you, I mean, just here in about two more weeks to three weeks, Doc, there'll be people calling me. I mean, calling me, and there'll be tons of them going, man, I'm feeling sick, I'm feeling horrible, and I'll just ask one question. How long has it been since they sprayed the fields? Well, they sprayed it about four days ago, or they sprayed it about ten days ago. And, man, the, you know, it, 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 just, it just causes and reaps all kinds of problems. Yeah. Well, and, and, you know, and I get into arguments with, well, with my, with my middle boy. He's 24 years old. And, and if you've got kids, anybody that's listening to the call, if you have kids that are in their 20s, you know, they, they think they know more than you. And, and my son is, is probably one of the smartest people that I know. But, you know, he, he'll argue with me and he'll say, oh, no, the science shows that, that it doesn't damage the, the human system because we don't have this, what they call a shikimic acid pathway, S-H-I-K-I-M-I-C, right? It's a pathway that's essential uh, for the synthesis of, a, of a certain amino acids that govern um, uh, these processes in plants and funguses and bacteria. But it's not found in humans. It's not found in, in vertebrate um, animals. And so, so these scientists, they say, oh, no, it can't hurt us. It can't hurt humans. And, 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 and some say, well, it's just minimal risk, you know, nothing to worry about. And, but, you know, like I'm saying, if it disrupts the way that the plant produces the nutrients that you and I need, doesn't that affect you and I? If it, if it causes the, the healthy bacteria in our gut lining to be destroyed, then doesn't it lead to the, um, you know, to, to the uh, overgrowth of pathogenic microbes in our, in our, in our digestive system. And, and that's one of the things that I was just reading about today is that now they're finding that there's um, a lot of um, um, mutant uh, um, bacteria that are um, Roundup resistant. And, and, and so they're, they're um, starting to go, hey, we might have a problem coming here because we're going to have some E. coli and some salmonella. These are the two that, that they're naming, <clears throat> they've specifically named, that will undermine current antibiotic therapy, right? And, and so this is a, this is a, a permanent problem, and... It's it's going to be something major. This is what they're predicting, and uh, and and so we look at that, and we look at the you know the way that the the, the glyphosate um, uh, alters the availability of micronutrients like zinc, right? Well, what do you need zinc for? Well, zinc is part of the healing process. It's used in in an, in something called a zinc finger protein, <clears throat> and. And if you can't get enough zinc, well, guess what goes in there, right? Arsenic sits in that, in that little receptor site, and we all know that arsenic is a toxin. Well, what if you can't get enough cobalt, right? And we don't need much, but you need cobalt. What do you need it for? Cobalamine. What do you need cobalamine for? Well, that's vitamin B12, right? And we talked about that last, last week, and, and manganese and iron and, and all these other things that, that are just, you know, that are um, – essential for for us and and then we start looking at at certain kinds of kidney cancer and sarcomas and like dw said pancreatic cancer i mean holy cow are you paying attention to how many people are being diagnosed now with pancreatic cancer um i i it's amazing i i don't remember ever hearing about so many people with pancreatic cancer and it was a rise. number of years ago. got it yeah, yeah it's on the rise doc yeah, it was a number of years ago. Um, I read a study that said that said that if you drank two cans of soda a week, you increase your risk of pancreatic cancer by somewhat like eighty percent. Well, what if you don't drink soda, but you're exposed to to these uh, chemicals in your food and all these other things, and and it can cause uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and leukemia and 
and congenital defects are now being blamed for exposure to, to the glyphosate um, in populations that are living on farms or, or those of us like, you know, like, like uh, DW is saying that are um, living near farms. But <clears throat> this morning or this, this week, a study uh, or a, a report was out that, that in Minnesota, the um, grain traders, the people who buy and sell grain around the world, they're telling the farmers in Minnesota don't plant um, uh, um, Roundup Ready uh, uh, soybeans because we don't think we have a market for your grain if you grow it. I, we don't think that we have anybody in the world that's going to buy it. And, uh, and, I mean, so that's going to be a, a major thing around the world. And, and in, in Germany, um, some other studies came up. And, and, and now a, a big thing that's happening is that um, the big drug company, um, Bayer, Bayer, B-A-Y-E-R, they make aspirin and, and other drugs. They're, they're looking at buying out Monsanto. And the problem with that is, is that we know what happens when you have large acquisitions like this. They just go and they, they get rid of the Monsanto name. They change the name of Roundup, and they change the formula just a little bit, and now they put it under a new name. And all of a sudden now the studies have to start all over again, and it's crazy, DW. And, and so, I mean, we can sit here and we can pound and pound and pound against the chemical companies, and that's really not what we're, what we're doing on the, on the doctor's call. Um, I think the main thing is, is that we're, we're trying to get people aware of that, hey, there's a problem here, and what can we do about it? And I know last week we, we kind of got into that, and – and, and DW, I, I think that's the most important thing. Wouldn't you agree? Well, I totally agree. And, 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 and Bear is trying to make an acquisition, an acquisition there, and, and uh, by the uh, by the company out. Um, and so they said no on their initial offer, but they also said, well, how much are you how much are you willing to pay? So, you know, it, it, when, when that happens. But here's here's where we are. What we are is about prevention, and and doing everything we can to prepare people to have the best products in their system to fight out fight off any onslaught of anything that's hazard toxic um chemicals in in you know when, when you can't get any more than you know we're talking about i mean i'll just let's just be blunt we're talking about putting poison on things that's getting into your body and that poison breaks down different cells at different times if your body already has a weakness in a certain area then it just will na it will navigate to that area and break it down at a rapid rate, and you know what might uh, what might you know take you you wouldn't even you wouldn't even have a challenge with it for 40 years. You're going to have a challenge with it within two to three years because it accelerates everything. I mean, the breaking down of cells is what destroys the body. The the free radicals, the the toxic uh, things that break cells apart where one cell starts, they start cascading and, and grabbing home. When a cell gets damaged, it grabs a hold of another cell, and then another one, and then another one, and then another one. And then you've got a, a lineup of problems right there in those areas. And so the cancers that are coming on people, I mean, I'm telling you, it used to be, I and mean, there was a day, there was a day in America, you know, that the, you, would, you would hear, you would hear that maybe, you know, one, one out of every two or three hundred would have cancer. You know, one out of every thousand and fifteen hundred back in the day, and now you know each and every day, you know, we're talking about one out of every three, three will walk out of the doctor's office with the devastating news. Man, I hate to tell you this, I don't want to tell you this, but you're battling with some cancer, and a lot of this is self-inflicted environmental things that we can prevent and stop. And so you know, you're going to be exposed to stuff. So how do we? How do we stop that? Well, Doc and I got into it last week just a little bit, but just using, just starting with our organic cleanse and cleansing all food, meat, vegetables, fruits in the organic cleanse before you eat them and cook them is a game changer for you. It is huge. And uh, so, Doc, wouldn't you agree that that would make a big difference just right there? Yeah, I, I totally agree with you because, you know, I mean, if you're finding residue of, of these chemicals on your plants, I mean, they're, they're saying that um, it's like 50% of, 
of the of the fruits and vegetables that we eat, they found residues or chemicals on it. So yeah, the organic cleanse is a great place to start. Well, and then you know, people want to get get stuff out of their get out of their system. I can't imagine. I mean, we I can't imagine how many people we just never hear of of individuals. You know. You know, having so much Alzheimer's and, and dementia at such young ages. I mean, we got people that are, you know, that are young that are just to walk into a walk into a, you know, the pantry and can't remember what they went in there for. And we're talking about young people, and they're they're because they're exposed to chemicals. And when these chemicals cross the blood brain barrier, and uh, and messes with the brain, it's putting plaque on the brain, and that that stops the the neuron, stops the brain from firing. I mean, just think about it. If if you went and and, uh, and took your spark plug in a, in a traditional old fashioned car, and you you filled that spark plug full of oil, it isn't gonna it isn't gonna fire because it's you know it's got that plaque, it's got that oil on it. But man, when it's cleaned and uh, and it's running on on what we call all eight cylinders, you know, and uh, there's there's no junk in there, there's no buildup, no plaque, there's no cruds, it can fire. And I think one of the things that happens is that we want to help people get their body in a position to where it can dump toxins. And then here's something else, Doc, that's kind of interesting, um, and maybe we'll get into this sometime. What is stored in fat? When when people gain weight, and let's say that you were in a situation to where you got sick and you, you have a bunch of, you've had to take a bunch of antibiotics and a bunch of medicines, a lot of times that stuff gets stored in fat and it stays there because your body knows it's poison and wants to protect your body from it. Things you're allergic to can get stored and, and put away as fat because your body knows that, you know, hey, you're not supposed to have that, so it stores it in a place like that. So as you know, people get healthy, we want to make sure they're, they have a, uh, their liver has a mild cleanse to it, their kidneys has a mild cleanse to it, their, uh, um, the GI tract and, and the small and large intestines and the colon is cleansed. That's why we start with a product called Fecoidin. It is a mild cleanser. It builds up the immune system. And Dr. Nolly, that, that product can go in there and fill up some of the challenges that uh, are helping, helping with some of the challenges that someone's going, going through. So we try not to... Try not to say we can cure and heal anything. I'm telling you, um, based on what I personally, my own personal testimony, is you know, well, right now I, I went out and did some stuff these last last few days, and I got a blister on on one of, and on my foot. You know, it's kind of a cool blister to get for what I was doing. And you know what I did? You know, we we sprayed it with a lot of the Terminator, and then uh, Miss Helen helped me throw a little bandage on it, uh, bandaid on it with. Um, you know, with a cotton ball, we put a bunch of eternity in there, which will draw out any any type of any type of soreness and and those kind of challenges. So we Did have stuff kiss your outside in the outside. Go ahead, Doc. Did she kiss your alley? Well, you know what? She is a mess. I tell you what, she. I'm I'm not going there, Doc. I tell you, we've been talking about stuff like that all day, so I'm not going there, brother. But isn't it amazing though? We have products that can help get plaque off the brain and out of the brain. Body Shield is going to be one of your new best friends when you understand it's a life force to your body, a life force to your body. That is huge. It's a massive life force for, to your body. And, 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 you know, what it does is, is just it brings your body back to life, but it also crosses the blood-brain barrier, grabs a hold of plaque, and escorts it out of the body, grabs a hold of heavy metals, which is all these toxins we're talking about and poisons, they're a form of heavy metal, so it'll grab it and escort it out of your body, giving you a fighting chance against something that is in there that is going to reap havoc and disaster. I mean, it's criminal what these companies are allowed to do. And here again, now keep in mind, most fruits and vegetables that you're eating, especially throughout the wintertime, they travel 1,700 miles before they even reach the U.S. border. And we have no regulations on, on what's going on there and, and where, these, where these fruits and vegetables are coming from. You don't know what pesticides and how much they use. You don't know what they use to inject the, to, to inject the growth, of, growth of some of these fruits and vegetables. So having our, our organic cleanse, is a, is a, it's a must. It's, just, it's not even up for negotiation in our home. That's how we roll. That's what we do. And I'm telling you, we, we're feeling better and better and better and better all the time. And because yeah. we're 
we're living a, 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 what we want to call as clean as lifestyle as we possibly can. Keeping it clean. Back at you, Doc. Well, you know, DW, you are so dead on, you know, uh, and you, you take a look. I mean, um, one day I, I post a picture of all the products that I, that I take every day, and, and one of my friends, he writes back, he's like, holy cow, Kurt, you're taking 18 different products. And I said, oh, I must have missed a couple, right? <laughs> I did. They didn't get in the picture. But, you know, uh, D, DW, as, as you were talking, uh, a word popped in my head, a word. Have you ever heard of something called called autophagy? No, I have not. Auto, autophage. Autophage. Autophagy. Yeah. Autophagy. A-U-T-O-P-H-A-G-Y. And really what that is is when you're talking about all that sludge and all that, that residue buildup that's inside the cell, all those chemicals and all that stuff that, that's being stored inside the cell, how do you get that stuff out of there? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a, a, a biological function in your body. It's called autophagy. And, and so if you're taking a lot of nutrients and all that, and, and they can't get in the cell because the cell is all plugged up with, with all the bad gunk that DW is talking about, how do you get it to open up and get that cell um, to, to say, hey, we got some good stuff that's coming in, but you got to let the bad stuff out? Well, it's interesting. Exercise. This is where exercise comes into play because exercise induces this autophagy so that your body can get the bad stuff out and get the good stuff in. And, and uh, I remember when I was sitting there at the convention listening to Tyler LeBaron, um, you know, from the, the Molecular Hydrogen Foundation, he talked about it. He didn't say the word, but he described it. And, and molecular hydrogen, the diatomic hydrogen water, helps make this process so it works even better. So the DW, when you're, when you're quenching your thirst and you're working out, make sure and have a bottle of the, the hydrogen water with you because it's going to help this process. It's going to make it so all those, those heavy metals and those toxins that you're talking about can come out of the cells and all the nutrients from the, you know, from the Spectrumax and from the, the Fucoidin and from the Eternity and the, the, the 360 can get right in there, right into the cell, and it can make the cell do what it's supposed to do because, I mean, we're just – we're seeing, I mean, one of, the, one of the things that people go to the doctors for, one of the main reasons, one of the main symptoms that they have is lack of energy. They're tired. They're fatigued all the time. They go to the doctor. That's one of their main symptoms. Well, if I took your car, your Dodge Colt, and I dumped a bunch of kerosene in their DW, that thing just isn't going to run very good, is it? No, sir, but I am going to knock you out for that one, but no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what you're talking about when you're when your body gets under cellular distress and cellular stress the the process of the uh the autophagy is it's it's upscaled it's increased massively you betcha you betcha and and you get this stuff working and all of a sudden your body can start operating at high function and 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 that's and that's what we want i mean i take a look at it and you know do you want it do you want to have a uh, a body that that you you treat like a you know, like a, an old Pinto station wagon, or do you want to treat it like a Ferrari, right? And, and, and that, that's, that's what, what you got to do, and you start going, I'm going to put the good stuff in. I'm going to put the high-octane fuel in there. And, and, and uh, when you take a look at Sizzle products, I mean, I tell people, yeah, they're a little bit more expensive. I mean, when you compare them to the store brand, the stuff that you see sitting on the shelf at Target and Walmart, yeah, our products are a little bit more expensive. It might have the same name. It might have the same ingredients, but it's not the same. It's not the same. We're running jet fuel, and they're running, they're running low octane mixed with water type of gasoline in their, in their products. And, 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 and that's, that's something you've got to look at. And, and when, when we start talking about, about you know, living long and living healthy, I mean, these are key things. These are key things. I mean, I look at it, I'm, I just turned 54 a month ago, and I figure next year I'll be 55. I'm halfway there. Um, I want to live to be 110 years old, so I'll be middle-aged after next year. And, and you know, what do you got to do? You got to keep this system going. You got to keep things working at a high function and, and make sure that you don't get sick. Like DW was saying earlier, prevention. 
That's the real cure, prevention. And, and you don't want to wait until all of a sudden, you know, like DW said, you don't want to go to your doctor and your doctor says, hey, man, I got some bad news for you. You don't want to wait till that happens. And, and, and uh, that's what we got. I mean, that's really what we got. Well, when you're when you're talking about this, it leads to a vascular breakdown and degeneration as well, and our eternity can come in there and and help with that, and, and makes a big impact, um, you know, on that kind of kind of degeneration that you're referring to. Yeah, it does. It turns that sirtuin gene back on, and and Tom just announced that you know that he's going to be adding uh, a, a special ingredient into the eternity he was sharing with me back in january when i was up there elk hunting it's an extract from blueberries called terastilbene and it, it actually it fortifies the resveratrol and it makes it so that it, it's even more potent and it makes it so it's longer lasting it makes it so it doesn't um oxidize as quickly and we're going to have that in the eternity er, eternity product i mean think about the dw that product is so great already Think about the testimonials that we've already had, the testimonial of Bill DeFalco, the testimonial that, that Rachel gave when, when she was talking about, about how she had uh, um, the, the breast cancer, the, the testimonial that, that Sarah Culley gave, um, the testimonial that Mike Collier gave on his mom with a rheumatoid arthritis. I mean, these, these are stories of real, pro, real people that had results, and just imagine, if that product was made even more potent, DW, I, 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 just, I mean, it's just, to me, it's like, wow. Well, we have the wow factor because we have the IT company and uh, with the IT products and, and, and just taking calls like this and kind of breaking things down to where people understand that, uh, you know, the, the degeneration that can take place in people's lives is absolutely, is, is absolutely devastating. And we don't want your body degenerating prematurely you know a person's supposed to live to 120 you shouldn't be slowing down until you hit about 100 years old and that's when you slow down we got people slowing down at 50 are you kidding me come on 50 is not when you're not get off already you're not supposed to be slowing down at age 50 that's when you kick things into gear you hadn't even hit midlife yet midlife doesn't hit till you're 60 and so and this and, and tom knows this and scientists know this but however, the things that break your body down, that just go in there and reap havoc and just, it's just that, that does so much destruction and devastation are, are these pesticides that uh, in Roundup, like in whatever name they want to add to it, like, like Doc's been trying to teach us for the last three weeks, the more I look into it, the more devastating I see that it is. And, you know, you want to get your fastest pair of tennis shoes on, and you want to, want to run as far away from that junk as you possibly can. Get your toxins, get your chemicals out of your house, because if they're in their house, they're going to get in your body. Guaranteed, it is, that is, that's not a, that's not a, uh, yeah, that's a promise. That's a fact. If they're in your house, they're going to get in your body. And so, you know, man, Doc, you get me fired up about this subject because sometimes I think we make some of the most ridiculous decisions, and that one of the decisions we make is that we're going to trust we're going to trust some of these major companies out here that give us products. Hey, this will get your clothes cleaner. Yeah, I get your clothes cleaner, but it's going to it's going to it's going to cause disease to your heart. It's going to cause Alzheimer's to come in. I mean, all the side effects. I was just. Listen to something something the other day where where they were talking about how it would help with uh, lower your blood sugar, and and it took them longer to explain the side effects to their new drug as, as more than it did to explain what the, how how good the drug was going to be for someone, and uh, you know we don't have side effects with what we do. Our side effects is you get feeling better. Hello. Somebody slapped me already. I mean, you get to feel them better. I know this is just plain talk, but, you know, sometimes we just need a whack upside the head. And, you know, it's like the guy that he goes and he beats his head against the wall, beats his head against the wall, and he goes to the doctor, I got a headache, got a headache. Doctors gives him some headache pills. He goes home and he beats his head against the wall. He beats his head against the wall. And you know what? He goes back to the doctor, and the doctor said, you know, here's some stronger stuff. He does it the third time. Finally, said the doctor said, what are you doing? He said, well, I spend all day beating my head against the wall. He said, well, you don't need the headache. You need to quit beating your head against the wall. So that's how common sense is. Quit putting poisons in your home. 
chemicals in your home, toxins in your home, and, and quit doing that but expect them to feel good. You're not going to feel good. They're going to get in your body, and they're going to mess you up. Back at you, Doc. Man, I tell you what, <clears throat> you are so dead on right. You are so dead on right. You know what, and in the world that we live in, it's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, we, we, got, we got a couple years ago, the Nobel Prize was given to uh, some scientists because they discovered Viagra. And we got all these women getting breast implants. And then we got all of these chemicals that are causing Alzheimer's. And I used to joke around about it in my clinic a little bit. And I said, you know, in the future, we're going to have all these men running around with, uh, with you know, with uh, uh, erections and women with large breasts. But neither one are going to know what to do with it because they, because they have Alzheimer's. DW, I mean, it's it really is coming to that, and it, it's not funny. People, people will look at me and they go, "Yeah, that that's happening." Well, there's no doubt it's happening, and we can do something about it right now. You know, it, it's 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 the bottom line, and the truth is this: we can help you. You no longer have to put toxins and chemicals in your home nor on your body, and then we have a whole line of products. Mm-hmm that will help you extract the things that are in your body out. Yeah, we want you to start with it going through a bottle of uh, a thacoidin and then, you know, ordering the Triangle of Life and just getting your body cleaned and getting that foundation laid, uh, putting some body shield on there to get the heavy metals out, moving on and, and uh, at that particular point doing some influence, which will help you quite a bit. And, um, and then we want you to go to uh, be in a position to where you – to where you, um, uh, you use a little bit of, maybe quite a bit, a little bit of the um, Avenger. It used to be called Sizzle Immune, but it's Avenger, and it just attacks, you know, things that are in your body that's, that's uh, you know, just um, causing, causing toxics. It, you know, it extracts the toxins as well. You know, it helps the body. It, it, people are getting a lot of relief and a lot of help when it comes to limes and, and it comes to fighting off uh, different kinds of challenges they have going on. So... Doc, we have what it takes for people to get healthier with our Restore 4. And I'm telling you guys right now, I mean, the biggest mistake you can make is not to get one of our hydrogen water systems. Uh, you know, water's not getting better or cleaner. What do you think's happened with these pesticides? What do you think when they run off the fields and they soak down through the ground, where do you think they're going? They're going into your water supply. Are you kidding me? Don't even get me on the water supply in city water. Or am I, you just might as well just pull up to hazard material, material truck and start drinking. And so it's just absolutely crazy. Well, know that we love you very much, and everybody, we're just so glad you're part of the uh, uh, part of the doctor's clinic tonight. I know we got a little fired up, but we are passionate about um, creating an environment to where you're you're toxin free and chemical free, and then we help extract those things out of your body. Doc, any closing words before we just give everybody a uh, a big huge goodbye? Hey, it sounds like next week's topic should be water, huh? Well, I think so. I mean. You know, not just what we have, but what, what people are getting in water, what they're getting in bottled water. I mean, I'm like, you got to be kidding me. You know, I got this water, and I paid $5 for it. Well, go ahead and drink out of a puddle. It's probably safer. And, uh, you know, it, it, so, yeah, Doc, don't get me. You got me fired up already tonight. So, everybody, we love you. We'll get into some water next week. And uh, we'll expose some things that are just common sense to you and know that we care about you. We love you enough to tell you the truth. That's right. We love you enough to tell you the truth. Go make a difference in someone's life. Share them our mission and help people get toxin-free um, in their homes and get toxin-free when it comes to what's, what's going on inside their bodies. For the Doctors Clinic, we're so glad you're here. We'll see you same time, same place next week. Thanks, D.W. Thank you, Dr. Thanks, Rob. Rob. Thank you, D.W. Thank you all for being here for Sizzle's Doctor's Clinic. This call will be posted within a half hour, possibly 15 minutes. Until next week, we wish you Godspeed.